Hey friends, welcome back to VMS Beauty. If you're new here, I'm Brittany and I love all things skincare. Uh, today we'll be discussing the Brown Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. Some key ingredients and we will do a demo as always for this week's Sunscreen Sunday. I'm very excited to try this with you guys. I just received it last night. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can continue to see new content from me on a regular basis. Sunscreen Sunday, one of my favorite days. Uh, We're going to be trying out this uh, Round Lab sunscreen. And this is the new version, friends. Um, like a lot of other Korean sunscreens, the original version of this was found out to have a lower SPF than claimed. Um, but Round Lab did a great job getting to work and reformulating and retesting with an academic institute, I believe, to get a more reliable SPF testing and have already relaunched. So um, if your formula has a manufacture date of 2021, it's the new formula. The original formula uh, had two chemical filters and the new formulation has four. I'm not going to attempt to try and pronounce them for you, but I did my research and they are good. <laughs> Uh, so this does now have a true SPF 50 protecting against UVA and UVB rays. Um, since they call this a moisturizing sunscreen, they do have some hydrating and moisturizing ingredients like glycerin, butylene glycol, and hyaluronic acid. The birch sap juice is said to have hydrating properties as well as provide antioxidants to the skin. And this sunscreen also includes adenosine, which is a good anti-aging ingredient. Um, it helps with those pesky wrinkles. Uh, niacinamide is in here to offer some brightening and soothing effects. Uh, there's a couple different plant extracts and oils to help soothe and moisturize the skin. Um, but I didn't see any essential oils listed on the ingredient list. So it is essential oil free. They do claim that this is a mild, gentle, and refreshing sunscreen suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. This is also fragrance-free, so even better. And I did read on the Round Lab website that they are cruelty-free as well. However, I can't find anywhere else that it's listed as cruelty-free, so if that's something you are looking for, you may want to reach out to the brand directly just to double-check before purchasing. But now it's time to give this sunscreen a try. So, oh, I gotta take, I told you I just got this last night, guys. Sorry, I set that down. All right, so I'm gonna apply this on my fingers, doing my two finger method there. I can already feel like I feel like I'm going to like this because it is pretty light. Obviously, this doesn't have a tint, so we will see how bad the white cast is. Wow. I'm actually not really seeing a white cast. All right, so the next test is going to be, since it's chemical and not mineral sunscreen, is it going to sting the eyeballs? Yes, it does. Dang it. <laughs> I think I might have actually gotten it in my left eye though. <laughs> wow. So I think I may have just gotten a little bit in my left eye because my left eye stings a tiny bit, but my right eye isn't bothered at all. So we'll see after I've worn this for about 20 minutes or so if my eyes are still bugging me. But guys, this like soaked right into my skin like a light lotion would and there was no white cast. It feels nice. It's not super tacky or sticky. There is no noticeable scent to it. 
and I'm really liking it. My skin feels good. It feels like I just moisturized my skin. So I'm going to give it about 20, 25 minutes and come back and let you know how it completely soaked down and if anything has changed. See you in a bit. So guys, it's actually been about two hours since we last talked. I skipped the 20 minute check-in because this stuff is freaking great. It sunk into my skin and absorbed really well. My skin felt hydrated and smooth. There was no further burning of my eyes, so I think I had just accidentally stuck a finger in my eyeball. <laughs> After about an hour of wearing this, I went in with some light makeup. I just applied a little bit of the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, a little bit of blush and some mascara. The sunscreen did extremely well under makeup. There was no pilling or dragging. I think it almost helps the makeup to sit down a little bit better. I have no irrit irritation from this and I really feel like that I'm loving this guys. Like I would definitely recommend purchasing this and giving it a try. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. I think that I paid around $30 for this, but when I was looking around, it looked like it was anywhere from $25 to $35, depending on where you purchased it from. But the lower cost places were a buttload of shipping costs. <laughs> so um, I went with free shipping and paid a little bit more. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching this Sunscreen Sunday video of the Round Lab Birch Juice Sunscreen. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.